Hey, what's going on guys? It's Caleb and today I have a very quick After Effects tutorial that's going to be going over filling text with a video and you can also do this with like vector objects or logos or really anything you want. Um, as long as it can be filled, you can do it with this technique. We're going to be using alpha mats, which if you're new to After Effects, you may not know about those, um, but they're very helpful for many different things. You could probably do this in some other techniques as well, but I found that alpha mats are the easiest and quickest way to get this effect done. Um, so let's just get straight into it. I've seen this effect all over the place recently. I've seen it used in America's Got Talent, um, Stranger Things use it a lot, uh, Donald Glover's new series Atlanta used this very recently, um, and I saw it being used and I was like, this is a really cool effect, but at the same time, it's very simple. It can be done within like a minute. So um, what I did here is just make a new text layer so that we have something to fill. Um, and again, you know, vector objects, all that stuff, you can use that as well. I have some stock footage here from MitchMartinez.com, which is free stock footage. It's really professional 4K resolution. Awesome stuff. I will put that in the description so you guys can go check that out. I have some water stock footage here because I just thought that would look cool. Um, so, if you're new to After Effects, you may not know about this, but you have this toggle switches and modes button at the bottom of your, uh, uh, your comp layer here, your comp panel. And if you press that, you're going to come up with your modes, which is your blending modes, and you also have your track mats. So, uh, whatever layer, so let me just delete this real quick to get you guys a good you know, understanding of what we're doing here. We have our text layer at the top, and then whatever we want to use as our fill will go on bottom of that layer. So just make sure whatever layer you want to fill is above your fill layer. So let's just say that this water stock footage is our fill, um, and then our tutorial layer is simply just our text. What we want to fill, you know? And then, so we have our layer directly, our fill layer under that, and then you press your track mat, and to get that, again, toggle switches and modes, then you get to your track mat and your modes. Track mat, then alpha mat that to your what we want to fill layer, aka our tutorial layer, and now we have this effect immediately of our text being filled. And what is an alpha mat? So when you alpha mat something, uh, so we alpha matted our stock footage to our text, Wherever our text is, that's where our stock footage is going to show up. So it's using it as a mask, pretty much. Uh, in simplest terms, our text layer is now a mask, or I think better said, a cutout of, uh, of our stock footage. And so, you know, wherever our text is, that's where our stock footage is going to be. So you can do a lot of cool stuff with this. In uh, Stranger Things, they would uh, start off their episode with their title, their title sequence, and then they would go into uh, whatever the name of the episode was, and then they would zoom in on the text and the text would start zooming up and then the text would be filled with the episode, like the first scene of the episode, um, and then would kind of like fade in. So that's a cool thing you can do with that. I'd recommend going to check out Stranger Things and getting a better idea of what I mean. Um, America's Got Talent, Atlanta used this as well. So, you know, very simple stuff, like immediately, you know, it's, it's a really quick effect. Um, and, you know, if you want to use something else, you don't have to use a white background. You can use some more stock footage. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, really simple stuff. I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, that's all I have to say. See you guys in the next one.